Hey, what's up guys? Best of Games is back with more Pokemon Sword. Surprise lock! So, last we left off, we were in Motostoke. And we're about to go explore Motostoke. And that's pretty much going to be the entire episode because, well, there's not much more to do here. Um, I turned off... <coughs> this is being recorded directly after... Um, Episode 2, because I have the time to do it, so I'm doing it. Um, can't run this way yet. So, we're going to explore the city. I turned off the uh, wireless functionality for the moment for local wireless. Bleh. <clears throat> yep, I'm here for the gym challenge. See you later. Let's do it. When you're ready, just go down that way. It'll be tomorrow. So we ignore going up that way and we go check out the stuff. Like there's a Pokeball. We run up here. We say hi to that person. Uh, we could redo our appearance, <coughs> but I don't particularly care to do so in this playthrough. Unless I see a comment or something that says that I should. I mean, it's not like I can't just go grind up some money to do all that, because trust me, getting money in this game seems to be pretty simple. TR13, so here we have TMs and TRs, and the TRs are breakable. Which is stupid. Alright, I can do a battle. You battle me. Let's do a battle for the episode. Because this is probably all we're going to do. <laughs> I think we have, like, one other battle that happens in this episode, and I think that's it. Um, if I'm going by a half hour, which is what I'm trying to do, then yeah, I'm probably gonna do maybe, like, three battles this episode, if, if at all. Um, and this one I kind of forgot about, so... That's just a bonus? Plus, I don't really want to do too much battling with my super over-leveled Pokémon who are going to gain too much experience too fast. Cup of berry juice. Plus, I forget if I get, like, stuff from these people, so I'm kind of just talking to them. Super potion, very useful, thank you. <clears throat> um, you know what? I'm gonna leave. I would say I'd ask you guys in the comments what my number should be for the back of the jersey, but <laughs> I'm gonna be way past that point by the time <laughs> by the time we get there. And you guys aren't seeing this for like two weeks. Ah, oh, cool. I'll take your high tech earbuds so that I can change the sound. The sounds. It's kind of stupid that you're like two hours into the game and you're like, oh, hey, now you can change the sound options. Like, mm, I don't know if I agree. You maybe shouldn't let me do that from like, I don't know, the start. But what do I know, right? Guar, it's Charizard and the unbeatable champion, Leon. 
I never make it away because, you know, the only personality trait I have is the fact that I get lost. Cool, a piece of charcoal for my, you know, fire Pokemon that I started with that I've already traded away that does not appear in my team anymore. You can use that lift to go to the battle stadium. <coughs> Congratulations. Thanks, Leon. There's not much more to explore down here, Leon. You know, unless I want to spend money that I don't want to spend. Yeah, there's not much more to do here. So, moving on. So my own personal playthrough, I'm only up to Holberry, which is the second gym? Second gym. Hey, it's the Pokeball guy. Give me a Pokeball. Thanks, buddy. You're cool. You're weird, but you're cool. I think he's Dynamax your Pokemon there, man. There's a Corviknight. So I can't go that way because that Corviknight's like, <laughs> No, bitch, you can't go that way. And it's like, well, why the fuck not? Because you just wanted some dumb thing to hold me off. And I can't go past this way. <clears throat> So the only thing I can do is go into the stadium. So let's go into the stadium. First, let's deal with Hop. You made it too? Ah, oh, this is where the opening stadium will be held. Yeah, let's go. The world needs to know our names. Okay, before that, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go grab this Pokeball. Like I said, I explore these games to, like, the stupid degree, so, like, every single nook and cranny that I could possibly go into and possibly go look at, like, I am checking it, because that's what I do in these games, and that's why I am only, you know, one badge in. Makes it easier when I do this kind of playthrough, though, because I know where shit is. I like how they made their own language again. Like their own text. Well, let's get signed up. We're totally talking here, even though I'm not moving my mouth. Oh, let me flip my hair back. Oh, I'm so good. Here's the letter of endorsement from the unbeatable champion. Oh, it's the first time we've ever had somebody endorsed by the champion. I'm Hop. I'm Leon's little brother. Yeah, that's why I got endorsement. I got brother privileges. Right, big brother? Uniform number. Doing what I did in the playthrough. <laughs> yeah, we doing it. 666 boys. Opening ceremony will be here, and yeah. Cool, thanks Chairman Rose for paying for things that we can't afford because we're little 10 year olds. Yeah, buddy. Can't go through there because guy. Oh, the whole family's gonna be watching me. Uh-huh, somebody something talking about something. There are heaps of us that go for this and none of us make it to the end because we're all terrible. It's criminal of you to even talk to me because I've been endorsed by the chairman. Ugh, get over yourselves. You must be the challenger. Come follow me this way down this little block and you're gonna get shown where the Badoo drop-in is, which is literally right next to the place. Because that's how we work. 
Here you go, there's your place. Go sleep there for a night, fuck. Good music. My favorite person is champion and my favorite warrior is strongest. Oh yeah, character development. Alright, yeah, this little kid lost his Mencino. Can I help? Yeah, I know where your Mencino is. He likes where water is. Yeah, so let me go help your stupid Mencino. And the only place that I've been shown that has water in this entire fucking place. Let's run over here and run past this guy. Oh no, spoilers for the side quest. And then we whistle by pushing the stick in. It's the missing Mencino. Mencino went back to the boy. Okay, cool. Let's go run back to the boy because you couldn't just fast travel me there. I don't have a bicycle yet. Woo! Let's run back to the boy. Yeah, my favorite. Oh, you found my thing. Here you go. Have this bottle of throat spray. Because you're sick. <coughs> that was a real cough. <laughs> that was a realer cough. <laughs> Um, there's the fire department, and then there's this, and we can walk over it this way, but we can't actually leave because there's a guy standing here saying you can't go in there. Actually, he doesn't say anything, he just doesn't let you pass. It's not like a, there's a thou shall not pass, it's like, eh, hey, you know, I'm just talking to you, and uh, I guess you have to walk the other way because I mean, I'm just not letting you pass. Pokemon are good at some things, and other things they're not good at. Wow, what a complicated fucking logic process is that, man. Now, do I want to watch the gym leader or a football match? That's so cool. They made, they gave it a little thing and made it all better. Alright, cool. I want you. TM guy. False fucking swipe. Now, if I get lucky enough that any of these fucks can actually learn false swipe, that'd be great. So I know I've said this in a video before, but uh, false swipe. Oh man, you know, first time I read the move, a restrained attack that prevents the target from fainting. The target is left with at least one HP. So, I'm pretty sure it was like gold and silver or whatever. And I read it without the at least. And it was like, target is left with one HP. And I'm like, wow, that's perfect. I could use false swipe, get it down to one, and the next turn I use quick attack, and it can't beat me. And oh my god, I'm gonna beat every Pokemon ever, and I'm gonna be the best trainer. And I'm like fucking like, pff, 12. So I'm just like, yeah, that's gonna work. And I think it was like a Sneasel or something that ooh, like knew it or I could teach it to. And I fucking taught, I taught it. Because I was like, ah, oh, yeah, cool, I can use this awesome combination. It's going to work so well. I'm the best. And... <laughs> My god, I used False Swipe the first time, and I'm like, wait, is the move not work? He didn't go down to 1 HP. And I sat there, and I fucking read it over and over again. And I'm like, oh, you dumb fucking child. You are so stupid. Yeah, that's my story. Um... I'm a dumb fucking child. <laughs> because I, I literally just did not read the at least part, and I was like, oh yeah, cool, it'll just put it to one. Ah, oh, this will be great. Reading comprehension, boys, is very important. I'm almost 30, and reading is still a fucking slight challenge, because English sucks. English as a language sucks. My god. It's like the worst fucking language. I'm not even gonna lie. Actually, I can catch a Pokemon in this area. Haha, <laughs> I remember. So I can go back if I wanted. Or, 
Or, where is... Ah, uh, yes. Okay, no. I don't want that yet. Yet. Let's go this way. Like I said, most of this episode is me just going to be running around this place doing the thing that I need to do. So, we're going to catch up Pokemon for this for this episode. Because I know where I can catch a Pokemon. First off, let's go grab this. Pretty sure this is like an X accuracy. Yeah. And it was an X item. Um... So you can run down these steps, which the animation for this is actually pretty solid, not gonna lie. Um, and then this guy. I sense great potential as a trainer in you, but it's still a bit early. Please come back when you become the champion. So basically, spoilers, I'm gonna beat the unbeatable champion. Yeah, with his Charizard pose. Suck it, nerd. And we're gonna take Payday, because yay, we want that. And also, this is where we're going to catch a Pokemon in Moto Stoke. In case you didn't know, there's a fishing spot right here. Chances are I won't have to fight so hard about this because it's going to be a Magikarp. So let's catch our Magikarp. That is level 7, I can't even attack him. Play <laughs> Magikarp. You, you're gonna fight me? With your splash? Like, don't. Don't be that guy. I really don't want to attack you. Although, you have a high defense. You're not gonna You'll be fine. Okay, cool. You're gonna yellow now. I think that's good. Pokeball. Go! We did it! We caught the magic card. Magic card's data will be added to the Pokedex, and he's sent to a box. Goodbye. All right. Also, first time that I used Surprise Trade in this game, I didn't realize that I <laughs> had to hit the Start button or Plus button to get to connect to the internet. So, uh, I sat there leaving a Pokemon on Surprise Trade forever, and it never did anything because I never connected to the internet. It's kind of embarrassing. I'm like, wait, what the fuck? Nobody's doing this shit? Like, that's hard to believe. But, uh, yeah. No, I, I was just stupid. Do our spin. We'll run up here. You don't say anything of value, right? I wish I could unleash Hyper Beam on my foes. Yeah, if I could just shoot a fucking laser beam out of my mouth and fucking destroy people, that'd be... That'd be swell. <clears throat> Rookity! Okay, we're going to surprise trade again because we already have a core mate. Surprise trade. I feel like I already had that exact rookity. Alright, let's run down here. We can explore a couple other things. Completed. Let's see what we got for this Rookity. Is that a Corsola? Wait, there's a Galarian Corsola? Yo, that's cool. I didn't even know that. He looks sad as fuck. Whoops. 
Level one. Ah, oh, beautiful. Okay, somebody's coming off the team. Uh, you know what? No, I'm gonna keep the Corviknight because, oh boy, if I need something to do something real quick, uh, he's kind of busted. Oh, this thing's cool. Cursed body may disable a move used on the Pokemon. What? And why do we gotta give Pokemon shitty things? Why do we gotta do that? Why? 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 Flying Steel. That's such an interesting typing. All right. We're gonna run around the bottom of this place real quick. Time to head home, Tim Pole. There's a thing over there that I gotta go get. Bum, 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 bum. Three great bowls. And look, there are so many more fish pots, too. That's right, I didn't even have to go down there. Well, I did for payday, but... I didn't. Great weather, eh, mate? Here, because there's always a thing getting revival herb, which is useless for me because I can't revive my Pokemon once they faint. Ah, I just do volunteer cleaning work because I'm such a good person. Way to be a stuck up bitch. Grab that pair of black glasses. Run in here. Scoff at how much money this shit costs. And walk away. <laughs> that's how we roll. <laughs> Alright. Check. We are in good shape. We're in good fighting shape. Okay, cool. Then let's go do this. I don't remember seeing that one. Also, I didn't get handed polka dolls. Huh. Interesting. Anyway. <clears throat> the Badoo drop in. Here, we're going to talk about the famous legend of Pokemon Sword and Shield of the Galar region. Uh, short version, which was the same thing as the long version, just saying, because I picked the long version the first time. That's the hero of legend with his legendary sword and his legendary shield. He must have been as strong as Lee, because, uh, you know... I don't know how to do anything other than compare my everything to my brother. Right, big brother? Cool, let's run up here and take on the evil organization of this entire place. Also, before we do that, because you never actually come up here for realsies, Isn't it great that you can just run through people's hotel rooms? This is what we teach our kids. This is what we teach our children. Run into hotel rooms, you won't be punished. I found a whole bunch of star pieces. Here, have a star piece, kid, because you walked into my room. Now get the fuck out. I gave you money, now leave. How dare you walk into my room without permission. Oh, it's a Dynamax band. Wow, cool. You have the wishing star on your Dynamax band. You're so cool, kid. Hey, look, he's got a panda. 
Thinking about the Charizard pose makes me all bleh. Fuck off. Alright, back downstairs. Let's fight Team Yell. We'll change the night. Yeah, let's go. Let's fight. Let's fight with your shitty Pokemon. Team Yell. We're gonna cheer on the one gym challenger that matters. This girl, because we're all, you know, worthless pieces of garbage and we have to idolize this girl. And maybe one of us will get lucky and get a pussy. What? Huh? Yeah, Zigzagoon, use tackle on the Wulu that's clearly bigger and stronger than you, but use tackle anyway, because that's how Pokemon battles work. Yeah, use tackle. Use tackle again, because this is the most interesting fight we have, is tackle, tackle, tackle. Yeah, and level six, boy. Oh, we're looking for a fight and we lost. Oh, we're so bad at this. Look, we're already in the BDSM dealer gear. And look, we have a towel printed with her face on it. Nick it. That's a cool Pokemon. I like him. Tackle. Another tackle. I mean, he's using basically the better tackle. So I can't blame him. Bye! Wow, his special defense is going crazy! It's what you get when you uh, get Pokemon traded in. Oh look, it's Hop. Oh no, you're doing battles without me? I'm joining too, and I'm gonna heal your Pokemon because this game is for baddies. Yeah, let's go. We're gonna make you whimper, because we're Team Yell. Yeah. Nick it and Zigzagoon, because we had to use the same Pokemon again, because we couldn't be interesting. And look, it's two Wulu! Except mine's way stronger. Which one's more annoying? The Nicket, probably. Yeah, because it keeps using Quick Attack. How boring! Boom! Get out the way! Oh good, your Wulu was able to hold up with mine. Good job, Hop. Take that precious experience. Snarl. Let's lower its attack for no reason. Snarl. Come on, Hop. Pretend. You should be thinking like a ten-year-old. Use the attacking moves. The attacking moves do more. The attacking moves make the game go. Growl is stupid. As I mash the A button. Oh, and there's the girl. What are you lot doing here? Marnie? We want to cheer you on, but we're pieces of garbage. Yeah, it's pretty impressive that you have your own backup squad.
Ah, thank you for dealing with the hooligans. I'm not going to give you anything, though. Yup, he's sitting there practicing his pitch. I'll meet you at the stadium, bye! Okay, and this is where we're going to call it. So, I will see you guys next week. Same time, same place, same channel. Follow me on Twitter if you want. Or, you know, subscribe. Things like that. Um, yeah, that's it. I will see you guys on the next episode. Remember, the world ends with you, and peace out.